In this video, let's explore what geometric sequences are and how they differ from arithmetic sequences. A geometric sequence is defined as a sequence where the ratios of the consecutive terms are constant. Now, upon first glance, this might seem very similar to the definition of an arithmetic sequence. But the key thing to note here is that the arithmetic sequence uses the word difference, while the geometric sequence definition uses the word ratio. The term difference here relates to a constant difference that can be either subtracted or added. Ratio, on the other hand, implies that we are looking at the involvement of multiplication or division. So, while arithmetic sequences had common differences as denoted by D as a key aspect that decided the difference between one term and another, a geometric sequence has a common ratio as denoted by an R. A common ratio is the ratio of any two consecutive terms in a geometric sequence. We'll take a look at an example shortly to make things clearer. But for now, the general formula for geometric sequence is the following, where A is the first term of the sequence, R is the common ratio that does not equal zero, and N is the number of the term we're looking for, which is in the set of natural numbers. Now, let's put some numbers into this and look at this sequence. We got 1, 10, 100, 1000, and so on. It's clear to us that we are not looking for a common difference here, since as you can see, there is no constant number that it goes up by. Instead, we are looking for a common ratio, which is the constant multiplication of a certain number from one term to the next. So if we pay close attention to what is going on here, we can see that when we multiply 1 by 10, we get 10. And when we multiply 10 by 10, we get 100. And when we multiply 100 by 10, we get 1000. And so on and so forth. Therefore, our common ratio here is clearly 10, making that our R value. And since our first term here is 1, we can also establish that as our A. So, plugging in the following information so far gives us our base formula for this sequence. Now, all we need to do is plug in any term number into n to find the value of that term. So, let's give our equation a go and double check to see if we can get the fifth term successfully. Plugging in 5 into the equation as n gives us the following. And simplifying this gives us 1 times 10 to the exponent 4, which is just 10 to the exponent 4. And computing this gives us t of 5 is equal to 10,000, which confirms our answer over here. Pretty easy, right? And what if we had a sequence like this? Well, let's bring back our formula and plug in what we know. We know that the first term is 5, so we'll start by plugging that in. And we can also see that each term is a result of multiplying 3 with its previous term. So that makes our common ratio here denoted by r equal to 3. So there is our geometric sequence formula. Alright, now let's try plugging in a few values in for n and see if it's a result that matches our sequence. If we plug in 3 for n, we get the following. Now if we simplify this, we get 5 times 3 to the exponent 2, which we compute first to get 9. Then do 5 times 9 to get 45. And if we look at our sequence, we see that our third term is indeed 45. Awesome! And what if we wanted to know what our sixth term was? What would its value be? Well, all we need to do again is plug 6 in for n to get the following. Then we simplify the exponents first and solve for 3 to the exponent of 5 to get 243. And then compute this to get 1215 as the sixth term 
in this sequence. Great, so that's it for this lesson. Make sure to practice some more questions and until next time, have a good one.